Hello, Grove Town, Georgia. How are we doing this evening, ladies and gentlemen? See, these people are starting to understand. Every single month that we are in this building, we see new hands rising in the air. They have finally realized that Flatline Wrestling is on its deathbed. They have finally realized that we are a dominant force here and that no matter what they attempt to do, we will always, always prevail. Last month, all of the people you saw this man. And this man, this man, and this man, and this man, the most important one of them all, you saw all of us come together and we work better than we ever have before. And no matter, no matter what flatline management attempts to do, it just doesn't work. Just like your toothbrush just doesn't work. has been flatline champion for some time now. They brought everybody in to try to take that belt off of me, and they all failed. Let's run down the list, shall we? we were, that's a good idea, right? Right, yeah. All right, so let's start at the top of the list. First off, I beat your hero, the Fireman, to win that very championship. the same thing when I took that belt off of him and it didn't do me any good, did it? Yeah. He's still a loser. Yeah. They brought in Caleb Conley, they brought in Zane Riley. I beat them too. They brought in Cedric Alexander, world traveler, ring of honor, superstar on your television every week now on national TV and I beat him too. And then, and then they thought they were real clever. They brought in a monster. They brought in a man called Six. All you want. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah, yeah, he can't hear you anymore because he's in a coffin buried somewhere because I kicked his ass. See, what Flatline now understands is that Six is not the monster. I am the monster. 
hustle. You can deny all you want, but it doesn't matter. No one will ever, ever defeat us. Realize this. Flatline is dead. There's only one last thing that this group has to do. We have somebody in the back who you might call the Pulse of Flatline Championship Wrestling, Devin Wright. Devin Wright has been doing all he can. He's been the one man fighting for you people, fighting to keep flatline alive. So the last thing that we need to do, we have to take out Dead and Love. Since you're obviously not going to quit, you don't know when to stop, we'll do it for you. Dead and Red, I know you, uh, I know you supposedly retired a few months ago, but I really don't care, man. I think if you have any balls, then she'll come out here. And you'll face Anthony Henry tonight. We'll end this. And the next month, we can call this whole show Rapture Pro Wrestling. What you say, Kevin? Let's make that fan entrance. Let's hit the music. Let's come on down, man. Come on, what do you say? Nah, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna let Flatline die tonight. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna show some compassion. What I'll do, Dead and Right? I'll give you to the end of the night. You have until the end of tonight to come out here and face me like a man. If you choose not to, I think all of you people know what we're capable of. We promise you that we will wreak havoc like we have never before. We will leave this place burning to the ground, and then next month we will rebuild. Dead and right! You have it till the end of the night. You better make that decision.
by way of Kevin. Members of the Rapture, Shane Hexen, 
Scott Mason taking on the team of J.C. Walker and the Sin City St. Brandon Parker. That all comes your way later on tonight. The Wrestling Candy Jordan's contest is singles action set for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Rapture, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Moon Rashad! <laughs> and his opponent.
Bagley. Not us, they swap it. Bagley. You know why? Because last month, I reached out my hand to him, offered a challenge for two wrestlers to come out compete. Just compete. But no, 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 no. no. which is, if I'm not mistaken, that is July 11th. So be back here on July 11th. Enjoy the enjoy July 4th weekend with your family. Then be back next week on July 4th, or July 11th. I'm sorry, I'm getting the next mixed up. Please be back on July 11th, special start time of 7 p.m. for more great Flatline Pro Wrestling action. Who in here is ready to see a championship match this evening? And next, 
standing to my right, he weighed in this morning at 191 pounds wrestling out of Marietta, Ohio. He is your current reigning and defending Flatline Pro Wrestling Pulse Champion, C.B. Sloney!
ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match as a result of the disqualification, Ken Lee. Therefore, still, your Flatline Pro Wrestling Pulse Champion, C.B. Suave. that is coming your way next month on July the 11th. Have we been having a good part? My mic is just not cooperating. I know you're having a good time, see? I'm sure you are. This corner over here has been lively tonight. This has been a lively corner. It's good stuff. This corner over here, you can do a little better. You can compete with it. You know I'm happy. Are we ready for the second half of action? Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring it to the 
Your next contest is singles action, set for one fall.
Set for one fall. I'm gonna 
Spencer to Kobe.
Jackson and Scott Mason. But as I expressed earlier tonight, Devin Wright, I gave you until the end of the night to make your decision. To make your decision as to whether or not you were going to fight for this company. Devin Wright, time's up, buddy. What do you say? You going to come out and fight me? You're gonna say blue. Speaking of 
with that pretty little wife of yours. Where could she be? Hey, oh, there she is. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, let us see the team going anywhere. Hey, Kevin.
I know you won't fail me. You've been my right hand man all along. Hey, you have what it takes to put her out of her misery. Let's show Kevin White what's good for prison.